What's up guys, Leopold the Brave here, and it's time to put Sora from Kingdom Hearts into Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch. We have lots to get through, moves, music, and more, so let's not waste any time. When it comes to Sora's standard attacks, he'll likely have some regular Keyblade combinations just smacking around his foe. But he could use magic in some of his smash attacks, for example his down smash could bring down a bolt of thunder. Or his forward smash could cast Blizzard as a projectile, like Mega Man's forward smash, but getting hit with a fully charged Blizzard will freeze you. Pretty standard stuff, but let's take a look at his special attacks. Sora's standard special would be his fire spell. Simply tapping it once will allow him to shoot it, and tapping it repeatedly will allow him to rapid fire, similar to how it works in Kingdom Hearts 1. However, if you hold down the button, Sora will instead surround himself in a ring of fire as a barrier, like in Kingdom Hearts 2. His side special could be Strike Raid, where he hurls his Keyblade at his opponent like a boomerang. It could reflect projectiles, and holding down the button would allow Sora to throw it even farther. His up special could be the High Jump, which is pretty self-explanatory. A large leap into the air at extreme speeds, making it hard to spike him when he's trying to recover. And his down special is my favorite one, Gravity. It could push opponents away when they're on the ground and pull them in when they're in the air. Imagine knocking your opponent off stage and then sucking them in so you can spike them with a meteor smash. It'd be a super trolly move. Now when it comes to costumes, the choices for Sora are kind of obvious. Various outfits based on his drive forms. Now obviously you wouldn't be able to fight in the style of the different drive forms because that would be way too much work to make a different moveset for each outfit, but it'd still at least look cool. You'd have his Valor form, his Wisdom form, his Master form, his Limit form, and his Final form. And we can't forget the alternate outfits, featuring Roxas and his Organization hood. The choice for Sora's Final Smash is also kind of obvious. It's the famous scene where he either locks away a keyhole or unlocks someone's heart. He extends his arm, points his keyblade, and fires a gigantic beam of light that shoots straight ahead at the opponent. It would be a little easy to avoid, but if you were a bit too close, it would suck you in as the beam was firing. When it comes to Sora's stages, they'd likely not use any of the Disney worlds because they're Disney, and I'm sure Nintendo doesn't want to go anywhere near that. So it seems we'll have to settle for the worlds made specifically for Kingdom Hearts, like Destiny Islands. Honestly, I think it just represents Kingdom Hearts well, and it'd be nice to have another water stage that isn't a traveling stage. We haven't had one of those since Melee. Although I do suppose you couldn't swim back then, but that's changed now. The next stage is Hollow Bastion. This one's pretty obvious if you've ever played Kingdom Hearts. It has a really cool aesthetic, and there's floating platforms of ice that travel up and down. Plus, you could have some heartless attack as stage hazards. Next are the assist trophies. First up is Xemnas in his final form from Kingdom Hearts 2. He'd fly around and attack opponents with his not lightsabers, and then finish off with a huge barrage of lasers like his flashy finishing move in Kingdom Hearts 2. Then we'd have the Stealth Sneak, a heartless that will turn invisible and leap around the stage firing lasers and attacking foes. I don't think we've ever had an assist trophy that turns itself invisible before, so that'd be pretty unique. The items were a bit tricky to come up with, but I figured out some interesting ones that would be very unique. The first of which are the HP orbs. Now there are lots of items in Super Smash Bros. that heal you, but none quite like the HP orbs would. Just like in Kingdom Hearts, only getting one of these wouldn't mean much, but once you've gathered a bunch at the same time, the results will really show. And you wouldn't even have to pick them up either, just walk over them like you would the coins in Coin Battle. The next one would be a fun one, the Skateboard from Kingdom Hearts 2. It'd be similar to Wario's bike and how you can ride around and ram into people, but it wouldn't do as much damage. However, it would be easier to control. Then finally is one I'm proud I came up with, because this one's super creative in my opinion. In Kingdom Hearts, you travel from world to world in a gummy ship, and warp gummy pieces allow you to warp to worlds that are far away. Well, I figured to have a warp gummy be an item, just pick it up and throw it somewhere, and wherever it lands is where you'll warp. Just be careful not to throw it off stage or you'll warp to your doom. Pretty cool ideas, huh? But I think it's about time to end it. To finish off this video, I'll show the 8 tracks I've chosen that probably fit Sora and Smash the best. Don't leave just yet though, you might want to stick around for that, because afterwards I'll show you who's next.